Manifesto on Periodontal Diseases. Gum disease affects more than 50% of adult population and in the vast majority of cases is a manifestation of oral parasitosis. Current techniques based on bacteriology and surgery have not produced any results on the prevalence and cure of periodontitis for more than 50 years. The absence of clinical microscopy with respect to the oral microbiota and the presence of inflammatory cells in patients with periodontitis and peri-implantitis constitute serious professional misconduct on the part of the university dental establishments and the order of dentists having obligation to protect patients. The parasite Antamoeba gingivalis is the most common microorganism found in all periodontal diseases. Its presence accompanying anaerobic bacteria is easy to confirm by using a microscope and simple clinical procedures. Patients affected by this amoeba greatly appreciate being informed even if it has been falsely considered a common cell organism. This parasite is highly mobile, has phagocytic capabilities against our immune system, and has highly pathogenic features in addition to promoting the formation of pus in the gingival sulcus. It is typically associated with the destruction of maxillary bone. The presence of a second flagellate parasite trichomonastenax makes the disease highly aggressive, if not strongly necrotizing. The presence of those parasites is almost constant in destructive periodontal diseases and has been virtually forgotten by the dental profession for more than a century. Forgetting this portion of dental and medical science is not an acceptable option nor position. This constitutes a serious medical offense toward the affected patients as well as a breach in the medical ethic and the duty to information. Current diagnosis ignoring the presence constitute an unacceptable medical malpractice by existing educational organizations and periodontal societies around the world. The complete elimination of Antamoeba gingivalis and Trichomonas tenax, motile anaerobic bacteria and accompanying inflammatory cells lead to rapid and complete healing of chronic and aggressive periodontitis, including arrest of bleeding, elimination of halitosis, closing of infected periodontal pockets, providing residual tartar has been removed in a second time, and natural healing of the gingiva be instituted. The apparent contamination from bacterial gingivitis or drug-induced or systemic or caused by local factor is a getaway easily manageable for periodontal healing. The dysbiosis of the circular ecosystem must be an integral part of any diagnostic and treatment of all periodontal diseases. Many biological similarities with Antamoeba histolytica and Trichomonas vaginalis should direct researchers' attention to these typical pathogenic features and encourage isolation, culture, and molecular biology studies in relation to those parasitic destructive activities. Antamoeba gingivalis and Trichomonas tenax flagellate in the mouth of sick people act as aggressive pathogens and should be considered as such. The elimination of oral parasites and the accompanying inflammatory cells avoid the majority of conventional surgical treatments that have become unnecessary. 
Their presence in periodontitis and periimplantitis is unacceptable and their disappearance ensures rapid healing as evidenced by microscopic evaluation, radiological and clinical examination. Periodontal microscopy should guarantee for periodontal diseases what radiology is for the prevention and treatment of dental caries. All dentists, especially periodontists, should routinely use periodontal microscopy to inform the public and ensure complete absence of infection and periodontal inflammation. This essential information must be communicated to the affected patient and verbalized until the disappearance of the infection. Periodontal diseases are, thanks to daily clinical microscopy, early detectable, easily prevented, and are completely curable in a medical manner, most often without any surgery or even debridement. Periodontal healing constitutes an accessible and integral part of actual medico-dental science and armamentarium. Refusal of microscopic examination by dental professionals and consequent lack of information and intervention on the periodontal microbiota constitutes a non-assistance to person in danger having direct consequences on maxillary alveolizes and on general health. Dental professionals have the obligation to provide assistance and to ensure that necessary care is given regarding disinfection and inflammatory dysbiosis. Mark Bonner, DMD, 2018.